Hey YouTube, just wanted to do a quick recording. Um, I got several requests for people wanting to see the solar generator in action. So there's the actual panel that I had listed uh, in previous videos and the PVC frame that I created for it. So um, nothing really glamorous there. It's just a 50 watt uh, rated panel. But we all know that output's different. So it's 50 watt, 12 volt. Um, and again, I have a link on that uh, on my website and on previous videos, and I'll throw it in the comments section as well. Uh, but what I'm doing over here is put it, the generator in the shade, um, and what I have is that the line coming up to the uh, what's up meter. And right now you're seeing, uh, you know, open voltage there uh, is 20 volts, I'm not really drawing anything because I don't have it hooked up. Uh, and then there's the generator, if you've seen, again, in previous videos. And then there's the um, the powerlet plug going into the socket, into the side. So I just have Anderson connectors here to, to show, uh, you know, connect and disconnect various ends. So a little tricky one-handed. Let me <laughs> switch hands here. I'm lefty. So um, we'll plug this in, get this thing cranking away. Set the camera down. Apologize for that. And now we're plugged in. And um, you'll notice right away that we're starting to draw some juice there. It's kind of a hazy day. It's not really crystal clear out. Um, I probably don't have the panel at the exact angle that it needs to be, but um, we're getting, I've seen you know, roughly around uh, 30 watts. Uh, let me get out of the glare here. So you can get a good shot of that. A couple of amps, not too bad. Um, I have obviously the generator turned on. I'll open this up. Then you can see the uh, SunSaver uh, PWM uh, controller in there. Charging the battery. I did drain it down. Uh, got it down to about, just about 12 volts. And wanted to uh, get this thing uh, a good charge into it uh, from the sun today. Uh, let me try different angles. I know the glare, everything's got glossy finishes on it, so it makes it a little bit tough to see. But you can see the state of charge light uh, is yellow. And then we're getting a green status light on the charge coming from solar. And then there's various um, um, states, obviously, of the charging status. It'll blink. Uh, you know, if it's floating, uh, bulk charge, all the different uh, stages it support, supports right now. But right now it's just you know, pulling as much power as it can uh, from the, uh, the source, which in this case obviously is the, the uh, solar panel over there. And then uh, it's interesting to, and you know, not surprising, but it's interesting to watch what happens when the, a cloud comes over. We go from you know, 28, 30 watts down to about 2. So uh, again, it's PWM. It's not a MM, MPPT controller. Uh, for this setup, there really isn't a, a need for it. But what I do want to mention is I am working on, I've mentioned it before, I'm working on a different setup, a different, uh, actually I got a different ammo box, about the same size but it's more square. This one is actually, if you look at it, it's, it's more of a tapered towards the bottom. Um, I've got a square one from a, a different manufacturer, uh, actually local uh, in Ohio. and. Um, I'm switching to uh, lithium iron phosphate battery, much lighter, and a MPPT controller uh, that I found that supports the lithium iron phosphate uh, requirements for constant voltage and constant uh, charge uh, type charging versus, you know, traditional lead acid batteries have different uh, requirements than lithium iron phosphate. So stay tuned, I'm going to be working on that, uh, hopefully get that up. Uh, in the next probably month or so. Um, so yeah, just again, I'll, I'll zoom out. You can take a look. Um, real easy setup. I have a fairly long cord there. Yeah, I'm probably taking a little bit of voltage drop uh, in that run, but again, for this setup and for what I spec this out for, it'll be good enough. I think if I could redo it uh, over, I would stick to, um, you know, standard, uh, 10 gauge wire. I think this is like 14 gauge uh, wire that I had uh, laying around that I was utilizing this uh, for that run. So uh, again, just pan out here and take a look. 
I, I love this power let setup. Uh, you can do 12 volts at 15 amps uh, coming into this, which is plenty again for this configuration. And then uh, there's the other side of it there with the 12 volt socket on the bottom and the USB ports on top. The one thing I did notice, I think it's worth mentioning though, um, for this particular, you know, this is the one that you see on, on um, eBay and Amazon all over the place. It's funny how they claim it's 5 volts at 1 amp on the top and then 5 volts 2.1 on the bottom. Well, guess what? In my testing, uh, I've noticed it doesn't really matter which one you plug in if the device is demanding it and it'll support it. Um, the meters, you know, the, the measurements I'm taking, it's going well over an amp. It sometimes it goes up to 2 amps on that top port. So uh, I think it's kind of... I don't know if it's misleading, but something that I wasn't expecting. Uh, I think overall that both those USB ports can support a maximum of 5 volts at 3 amps. I'd have to verify that, but that's pretty much what I've found in my research. So, okay, just wanted to make this a quick video. Uh, follow on to my uh, other uh, videos I have posted about this little project. Stay tuned, uh, like I said, and uh, I'll work on a different one, a little bit different setup. Uh, I think you'll like it. I'm very happy with uh, my initial results with it. Uh, we'll look similar to this, but the internal components will be different. The battery's much lighter, uh, and you can get some uh, even quicker charging results uh, with the MPPT. Uh, granted, this one's not very long. It only takes about under two hours in direct sunlight, and you're back at full charge at a 12 volt, uh, 12 amp hour battery. Um, but yeah, it's it's looking pretty good. I like it. I think I'm, that's what I'm going to go forward with uh, on that next setup. But uh, I'll, again, I'll throw that video together as quickly as I can. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any additional questions, uh, feel free to put the comments below. Thank you.